What's going on everyone? It is 11.30 after work and today I am actually in the back of my work and I am going to be doing that USB charging mod that I was talking about that I wanted to do. I put the list up in the previous video. So let's get to it. The thing you're going to need will be, most of it's from Radio Shack. I got this car charger, the, the Cigarette lighter, 12 volt inline fuse protection, along with mounting solution, which we're not, we're not gonna be using. Some screws, a switch with a built-in LED light. I may or may not use this yet. I think it'd be kind of cool to have a switch. I'm not sure yet. Solder, lead free, healthy. A five volt USB. It should be, uh... I'm pretty sure it's, it, it pumps out 5 volts coming from 5 volts. Allen wrenches, metric. Some coffee, because I'm tired. A multimeter. Using that, we'll be using that to find the 12 volt wire that we'll be using. Or wires. This fairing that comes off of right here. Two bolts, one there, one there, 09R6. Be careful when taking it off. This latch right here. Holy shit, you cannot see anything in there. Can I do that? Can I do it? I wanna do it. Let me do it, phone. Phone! Okay, I can't, I can't turn the thing on. There's a little latch in there that, be careful you don't break it off when you're pulling it out. Same with this one, this one just comes out, this one moves out this way. So. Without further ado, first things first, take that off. Second thing, mark where you want your light, you want the plug to go. I chose to put it right where that little dot is because that is where the most clearance is on this particular piece when it's in there. You, next after that. Thinking is hard right now because I am a little tired. So bear with me. After that, you need to find your 12 volt signal wire, and then your zero volt wire. Lucky for me, God, I need a flashlight. If you look in here, this is your headlight wire. Right, right there. It's really hard to see. It goes to this blue plug. God, I just can't see anything, can you guys? Anywho, in there, will be a wire coming from your headlights. It's coming from that thing. Right in there. I apologize for this. What I did to find it, I took a needle, put it on the positive end of my multimeter, stuck it in a wire, put one end to ground and one end to the needle until I got 12 volts out of it. So, do that. Because <laughs> I cannot show you guys. I apologize. So now that's what I'm going to do is get this plug all prepped for some wiring and I'm going to drill a hole in the fairing and the hole that you're going to want to be drilling is I'm pretty sure it's metric, let's put that to metric ta-da, metric the hole size you're going to want to be drilling is I can't, that's kind of challenging 27.7 millimeters or 1.095 inches. You could probably use one and an eighth inch. You might be able to. Don't recommend it. So I will see you guys after I do those two things. Alright, so all we had was a one inch drill. And for some reason, our circular rat tail file is missing. So I have this square one, and I'm going to make that bigger and still round with this. So, yeah. Let's see how that turns out after this next cutscene. Uh, this has a nice little lip on it. Why aren't you focusing, phone? Come on, you can do it. There you go. Has a little thing in it, kind of like a keyway. So, 
you can do one of two things. Originally, I was gonna take, I was just gonna take that off with, you can use a knife, a Dremel, a file, so be it, a mill, I don't care, hell, a lathe if you wanted to. But I kinda realized that the keyway might be kinda good. So I'm gonna take my little file in here. round one. Little round file. Use a little, you can use a little square file, you can use a little saw, doesn't matter. Make a notch in there if you want to or take it off. Up to you guys. Don't file when you can stab yourself. Not smart. Don't do it when you're tired is a better thing to say. Also, don't do this. It's gonna hurt. A lot. Let me just get it warmed up really quickly. I honestly don't know why I'm doing this. I'm tired, and I'm making a video, so in my mind, it's a good idea to do this, and it will stop bleeding, so... You know. Huh. Whoops. Got our notch all cut out, it fits in. I end up making a hole, like... an inch and... 70 thousandths, roughly. So next is to shorten up the wires that came with this thing right here. Reference, red one was in the middle, black one was on the side. You're welcome. So next... Why do I keep putting my camera in here? You can't see it. We're gonna solder on the red wire and the black wire onto the two wires in there. Now we want it to be in parallel. That way, when something's not connected to it, our headlights still work. So once you do that, once I do that, yeah. Also, that didn't work. So I put super glue on it, like I probably should have to begin with. So, yeah. Next. All right. <clears throat> wow, my voice. Jesus. So. You have your positive 12 volt, more like 13 and a half for me. Zero volt coming from wherever the hell you chose to put it. Mine was actually not the easiest, but it was the only one that I found in while well, looking. I didn't look very hard, so yeah. So we got these. Check. Make sure it's nice and wrapped up with some tape. Keep it waterproof or water resistant. I mean, I guess it's not that important, but you don't want it blowing up in the rain. Not blowing up, but causing shorts in the rain. We got this right here. Got our fairing, little mini, mini me fairing off to the side. Hole in notch. Notch makes me bleed. That's always fun. Yeah, <clears throat> this reminder again. Red center. It's a positive center. Black zero volt. Edge left, right, not center. So we're going to take this, we're going to fish those wires through this hole, bolt it back down, connect those to the end of that, and put that in the hole, and click it in. And it should be good. I'll get back to you guys when that's done. It's going on. So I got everything back together. I'm going to put a picture of that later, but there's a cable going to my phone. And it's charging. So it works. I couldn't be happier. The clearance was just barely enough uh, underneath and on top. It's overall pretty sturdy. And it's really streamlined when it's not actually plugged in. So let's unplug that. Unplug this. Nice little built-in water res resistance right there. That's really all. You don't, you almost wouldn't be able to tell. So I could not be happier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, send me a PM, put it in the mess, the messages. Put it in the chat for the video. I am exhausted. I'm going to go home and sleep now. Uh, see you guys.